Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review Boeing Streamlifter 747-400 LCF by Hogan. The only thing that seems incorrect with the fuselage is the shape of the nose. It's not as pointed and rounded as it should be, but besides that, the rest of the fuselage seems correct. The model also lacks two areas on top. The blue seems to be a shade darker than what it should really be. The print is incredibly outstanding in this model. It's a very high quality finish. The wings are fitted nicely. The left wing has a little bit less paint around the flap and spoiler area compared to the right side. Also, the tip in the flap track fairing is not painted red unlike the real one. The engines and pylons are made of plastic. The engines are poorly mounted on the pylons and engine number two has the biggest gap of all four. The inside of the engines are nicely done with the correct color. The landing gear and wheels are poorly done. They are made of plastic, making it impossible for the wheels to roll. Another downside is that the bogies are not secured well. Overall, this is a model that will be up to you to get. To me, this is not the best, but neither the worst model. Who knows if any other manufacturer in the future will attempt to do their version of the Dreamlifter. Well, that concludes the review for Boeing's Dreamlifter 747-400 LCF by Hogan. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to have you guys back again soon.